Hello! Happy International Women's Day! So as some of you guys might have noticed, YouTube is starting a kind of campaign called Dear Me and it's for International Women's Day and basically what you do is you make a video and you talk about the advice that you would give to yourself in high school. I think a lot of videos that I've watched so far cover most of the basic issues that girls deal with in high school, which is like be yourself, don't do ridiculous things to fit in, and don't worry about bullying and things like that. And I kind of identify with that kind of stuff, but I think for the most part my high school experience was pretty good. But basically I was trying to think of advice that was unique to my high school experience. And I think it mostly came down to just one thing which is actually be more confident in yourself. So when I was in high school, I would look at couples, right? And usually in a lot of high schools, there's always the stereotypical high school popular couple. So there's maybe like the water polo player, and he's dating the really tall, skinny, like platinum blonde girl with blue eyes, and she's really pretty and stuff like that. And the way that I saw those kinds of couples was, well, of course those two people like each other. They're like, they're both popular, pretty people, so they just kind of go together, and that's kind of the equation that works down to what attraction is. So my general view in high school was, okay, every girl has the capacity to attract a guy, but usually the ones who attract guys are the girls who want to put makeup on and think about what they dress before they go out in the morning, and the ones who put in a lot of effort, you have to put in a lot of effort and then you'll get a guy. So my perspective was not that I think I'm ugly so I'll never get a boyfriend, but it was more like I'm not willing to put in the effort to make myself presentable to a boy, so that's why I'll never get a boyfriend. But I'm okay with that, and I'll just go through high school and have fun in a different way. But I think now that I've graduated and my sphere has opened up more, I think that in Reality, attraction doesn't come down to any formula. Attraction is just ridiculous and you can't quantify it and you can't predict it at all. Because there have been boys in my classes who I've seen and I thought, wow, they're really cute, but they're really tall and lanky and I'm kind of like shorter and a little like stouter and like kind of muscly and like masculine. <laughs> so maybe they probably won't like me. They'll probably want some like really hip girl who's like super skinny and is vegan or something. And then somehow along the way, I'm talking to these boys and then they're like, oh, like, what's your number? Like, let's go on a picnic or things like that. And I'm like, what? How did this happen? <laughs> I just don't understand why you like someone like me. So I realized over time that if you see someone that you think is really cute and you see someone that you like, you really can't think like, oh, they're out of my league. I'll never get them because you're probably not out of their league. They might not notice you because maybe you don't talk. And I think the most effective way to get someone is to just be really nice and be really funny. You just need to have a good sense of humor. And I don't think that this only applies to finding romantic relationships with people, because I remember in hindsight in high school, sometimes I would be in classes with people that I didn't think that I would ever get along with. And then somehow I'm sitting around my friends and I'm cracking jokes, and then those people that I thought I would never find anything relatable to, they would laugh at my jokes. And then maybe I would see them in the hallway and they would say, oh yeah, Dana, you're really funny, and things like that. And it really surprised me that those people that I didn't think I had anything in common with found something in common with me because we had a similar sense of humor and they thought I was funny. So the first piece of advice is be more confident in yourself. And when I say that, I mean be more confident of the potentiality that someone else can like you as opposed to be more confident in your looks or your appearance. I think it's important to be confident in how you look and how you speak or sing or things like that and your talents, but I think that what most people struggle with is they don't really get that there's someone else that could like you even though there are so many things about you that you don't like. So be more confident and the potentiality that someone else can like you. So that's kind of what I've been learning after high school. There are people that I see that seem totally far away, but actually, if you just are really nice, then they can become friends really easily. I think the second piece of advice is that everyone is an actual person. So getting back to the thing about there are people in my high school that I thought I would never get along with, well, 
when you're in high school, everything is very stagnant, right? And you kind of try to think that, okay, I'm in this group and they're in that group and we kind of hate each other and we'll never talk to each other and we have nothing in common. But that's actually not true. And there are plenty of people in college, like, I never thought that I would have friends who were in frats or have friends who were in sororities. But now, I'm working with some frat boy and he parties hard and he does all this weird stuff that I'm kind of like, I don't think I would go to his parties, but I really like my coworker and he's really nice and he laughs at my jokes and I laugh at his, at his jokes and we have a lot in common. So I would also say that high school isn't as stagnant as you think it is and just in the same way that I think you can reach people that seem out of reach through humor and happiness and things like that. You can also reach people in high school that seem not to be in your friend group. So yeah, that's what I would want to tell my high school self. Be more confident in the potentiality that someone else can like you and find you attractive and funny. And everyone is a person, even everyone in high school. And I think you can cross these really stringent, stagnant social boundaries. I think you can cross them with humor and smiles. So hopefully if any of the watchers are in high school, you found that helpful. And I can honestly say that once you graduate high school, most people, their lives improve after high school. So if you're having a really hard time, just keep going. Go to a college, go to a community college if you can't afford college. I really liked community college. It was a lot different than my high school. And I thought it gives you a lot of time to kind of figure out what you're doing and meet people who are really involved in different things. And then four-year colleges are really fun too. You do clubs and all this stuff. And I'm graduating this year, so I can't say what happens after school, but through most of the people that I've met and I think through the possible options that I might have after graduating, it seems pretty cool. So yeah, do your best and keep going through high school. So yeah, hope you liked the advice, high school me, and sincerely me.